At White House Senior Living, our residents feel right at home. Our vibrant facility offers delightful activities and outings, round-the-clock professional care, and exquisite house-made meals. Well, I've been eating everything that's put in front of me, but I've been eating all, all Italian foods, basically. And ice cream. And ice cream, chocolate chip ice cream. White House Senior Living, where residents feel like presidents. Well, it's full steam ahead for Donald Trump, who has had a victorious start to the 2024 presidential election. Not only did the former president release his popular campaign against Biden called White House Senior Living, he also won Monday's Iowa Republican caucus by taking 51% of the vote. Trump takes no prisoners when it comes to insulting Joe Biden. Whether it be about his policies, his age or his gaffes, it has been non-stop since 2019 when the now president announced his run for the Oval Office. And after Donald Trump's success on Monday and his high polling as the Republican candidate, November could see a repeat showdown, Biden versus Trump 2.0. With that will come copious more digs from Trump to Biden as he gives the loyal fan base their favourite pastime, which is, of course, roasting the president on the world stage. So let's go through all the most savage put-downs Donald Trump has done to Joe Biden. But before we do that, if you do like this sort of content and you enjoy watching it, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Talk TV YouTube page. Let's get into it. To kick off this week, Donald Trump used one of his favourite words to describe Joe Biden, crooked. It's time for the Republican Party, however, to unify, come together and move forward as one team. We have to beat crooked Joe Biden. We have to beat him. Our country is at stake, and we need to focus on all of our resources. We have to put them into energy and effort and defeating Biden and all of these radical left lunatics, what they're doing to our country. We can't let it happen. And, of course, this week, Trump claimed this was an attempt to not be so rough on Joe Biden. So I don't want to be overly uh, rough on the president, but I have to say that he is the worst president that we've had in the history of our country. He's destroying our country. The 45th president didn't hold back here in his scathing review of Biden's term so far. Crooked Joe Biden is not only dumb and incompetent, I believe that he has gone mad, a stark raving lunatic with his horrible and country-threatening environmental open borders and DOJ, FBI weaponization policies. He is a mental catastrophe that is leading our country to hell. We'll end up in World War III because of this man and for no reason whatsoever. Thank you. It wouldn't be a takedown from Trump without bringing up Joe Biden's struggles to read the teleprompter. I could read that teleprompter all day long. Biden can't even read the teleprompter. The other day, Matt, He's given a, a, a thing. He's a news conference because he hasn't had one in about six years or something. Can't have it. You can't have a news. So he picks a. He goes, Bill from NBC. NBC. Oh, uh. So the guy asked him a very simple question, like about vanilla ice cream. But then they actually asked him a question about a border or something. So he goes. They ask him a question, Bill from NBC. They ask him a question. Um, the border is very strong. Uh, it's very normal. And things are going very well on the border. After numerous failed attempts by President Biden to eloquently leave the stage, Donald Trump mimicked him for it. Does anybody think he's going to make it to the starting gate? I mean, the guy can't find his way off of a stage. Look, here's a stage. Here's a stage. I've never seen this stupid stage before, right? I've never seen it. But if I walk left, there's a stair. And if I walk right, there's a stair. And this guy gets up. Where am I? Where the hell am I? A jab Trump has done before. The day I'm imitating Biden not getting off the stage, right? So I say, this guy can't even get off the stage. So I purposely, you know, do my thing. You know the way he walks like this? And I go, 
like this. Earlier this month, Donald Trump told a crowd that he would vote for a three-year-old over Joe Biden. All the polls now say that I'm beating him, but you don't want to say who wouldn't. This beautiful child, this young man, he's, how old is he, three? He would, I would vote for him over Biden because he's more intelligent. Look, <laughs> the kid's three years old. He's got better judgment. In June 2022, Joe Biden fell off his bike while riding in Delaware. Something Donald Trump joked about while on his press tour, pledging to his followers that he will never ride a bicycle. No, I'm serious. I hope he's okay. <laughs> Fell off a bicycle. I make this pledge to you today. I will never, ever ride a bicycle. In June last year, Joe Biden suffered one of his worst falls when he fell while on stage while handing out diplomas at the Air Force Academy. And Donald Trump was speaking at an event when he was informed about the fall. He just fell on what stage? He's down He's at the Air Force Academy. He actually fell down? Well, I hope he wasn't hurt. I hope he wasn't hurt. But it's, the whole thing is, look, the whole thing is crazy. You got to be careful about that. You got to be careful about that because you don't, you don't want that. Even if you have to tiptoe down a ramp, you got to tiptoe. <laughs> In October 2021, an NBC reporter accidentally thought the crowd was chanting, let's go Brandon, for race car driver Brandon Brown, when in actual fact, they were chanting anti-Biden slurs. This launched a wide anti-Biden campaign at sporting matches across the US, where large crowds of Americans would chant, let's go Brandon, as a way to take a dig at President Biden. In August 2022, Donald Trump joined in by fist pumping to the chanting at a golf tour in New Jersey. And staying on golf, in October 2022, a day out on the golf course didn't stop the former president from making a jab against the current president. Take a look at Trump's snide remark after teeing off in Miami. Trump made a similar jab while golfing in Ireland in May last year. Absolutely. You didn't know this about Trump, did you? You didn't know this. Well, you'd be looking for the Irish American vote. I, I am looking right now. I'm looking. That's why I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden is convinced he has it. Biden is uh, an incompetent person. Have a good time, everybody. Hey, guys. Have a good time. But Donald Trump's public savaging of Joe Biden dates back before the now president announced his intention to run in the 2020 presidential election. Well, I heard Biden, uh, who's a loser. I mean, look, Joe never got more than 1%, except Obama took him off the trash heap. And now it looks like he's failing. It looks like uh, his friends from the left are going to overtake him pretty soon. Now, I have to tell you, he's a different guy. He looks different than he used to. He acts different than he used to. He's even slower than he used to be. But now that we are over 10 months away from the November election with the chance that Donald Trump could be facing off against Joe Biden for the second time, these public takedowns are sure to ramp up and we'll be watching them closely.